Hello and welcome to the ChemBio Office tutorial program. In this series, we're going to learn about working with ChemBioDraw or ChemBio Office. So, if you install ChemBioDraw, it usually comes with ChemBio 3D as well. So, if you have already installed ChemBioDraw, you can open it and we can have a look what options do we have so this is a really powerful software to work with chemistry applications you can draw molecules reactions and you can model the um, transition states and reaction intermediates and whatever you want in this software it is really handy and powerful tool for people working in chemistry and we'll try to have a look at more at the important options of ChemBioDraw and then see what can we do, how can we export very good quality graphics for the publication quality and mm, sometimes journals requirements are higher that you want 300 dpi or such image so we can do everything with ChemBioDraw and we'll cover in this document and I hope at the end of this tutorial you would be able to draw such kind of molecules with everything visible in it. So for that what we will need to do, we will need to take a new file and we will start from here. So the first thing, when taking a new file, will I personally prefer to use a template always. And this is a simple A4 paper and if you draw something on it that would be just general but many journals have their requirement or it's um, that they they should use certain width for the bonds and everything the spacing so they where ChemBioDraw offers you quite a few templates available so if we click on file and we see open templates we can see a lot of templates available sorry these are the templates for drawing different kind of um, materials so yeah we'll open style sheets and these are different templates made for different kind of journals or societies so for example we have royal society one column document and two column documents similarly we have SES and we have Wiley and different other options I like Wiley style and you can choose whatever you want so we'll work with Wiley style in this tutorial so if I click on Wiley style I got a A4 paper of landscape size uh, and so I can zoom it out to to make it full visible so you can here you can see zoom out button yeah now you can see the full page so I'll probably zoom to 100% and then it looks better alright and we'll cover try to cover the introduction of these tools on the left hand side with which you can draw various things and so the, the first tool here is the lasso tool before going to the tools actually I should tell you about this this is a menu bar where you can see file edit view object structure text curves so all these this is a menu bar and then we have two other toolbars underneath it this toolbar um, helps to open document to create a new file save print etc and this is another toolbar which contains the setting for fonts font sizes superscript subscript and font colors so and this is a a general toolbar on the left hand side which contains most of the tools which we use in ChemDraw to draw beautiful structures so the lasso tool is just a selection tool if you click and you select you can select in any shape and lasso tool helps you with that the next is marquee tool so marquee tool is just it selects in the form of a square so it is automatic you can't really um, change it to to curves or you, you're not so flexible when selecting with this tool 
but this is good if you have to st select a bigger structure or something which is um, easier to select directly like this and you don't need to just uh, keep going around the structure if it is a very heavy and difficult structure so these were the selection tools and then this is a perspective tool with which you can rotate a structure for example if we have the structure we can just oops look how cool you can rotate it and see it from the side views top bottom everywhere you can rotate it to 360 degrees so that's the perspective tool and then we have quite a few fragmentation tools in chem draw so the, this chem draw version 14 and above they support mass fragmentation as well so you can visualize mass fragmentation pattern if you select this tool and click here you can see that it tells you that if it, the molecule breaks from here it will generate two fragment ions and these will be their masses so this is a very handy tool when you're working with mass spectra and you want to see how the fragmentation pattern worked so that will that tool will help you a lot and it has different other options if so any tool with a little arrow pointing here you can see a, a little black arrow in the right bottom corner so any tool with a little white arrow little black arrow that means that has many sub tools available so if you keep clicking on it you will see other options and you will keep clicking and you can drag the mouse to the right and you can select any of these tools the next is this is a solid bond tool I mean it's it's just to draw a single bond you can see I clicked and it draw a single bond and if I put on um, you can see when I take the mouse pointer over here it is showing up a, a blue square box so if I click while putting the uh, mouse pointer on the square box it will connect this bond to that carbon so if you bring over bring it over on the carbons it will just show you um, that it can attach different things here so never try to make a bond like this and then drag it it is wrong so you always need to connect the bond so you hover your mouse on the atom you where you want to connect the next bond and it will show you um, a blue box so it means now it is on the atom and if you will click it will connect the bond to that atom and then we have uh, a razor tool a razor is just to erase a bond or anything like this we can erase here double bond we can erase this fragment this whole bond and this so the next tool is multiple bonds if you keep clicking you can see double bonds double dashed bond triple bonds coordinate bonds and different kinds of bonds even quadruple bond wow so if I select a triple bond I can draw it over here and a double bond like this so you can select different kinds of bonds from here the next tool is text tool with text tool you can write any text like you want to write something over here so you bring the text tool on here and when you see that a sign and the blue box appearing you click and you write for example what should we write we can write oxygen yes and click back look we have inserted oxygen at this point and you can select oxygen and change the font size as well so it is asking you do you want to just change the atom label settings or I mean for all the drawing to the 10 points you can say yes and now it looks better so you can here you can see that you can select with lasso tool any kind of structure if you want to select like from here except the triple bond you can do that so this is a handy tool for selection and then there is a pen tool we'll discuss it later on and this is a dashed bond 
you can draw a dashed bond somewhere and this is a hashed bond wedged hashed so you can have these kind of bonds in your molecule and then above the plant bond bold bond and hollow wedged bond so you have many different options available to draw and then these are different drawing elements you can also draw orbitals in chembio draw and similarly you have different spd and other orbitals available and if you look here this is drawing elements so you can draw different circles you can draw rectangles filled rectangles 3d many different kinds of things so chem draw is really powerful software and this these are the brackets sometimes you you might want a pair of brackets to put a charge or something on the molecule so you can do that easily and if you want to put a charge it's over here yes we can do that and there are like lone pairs you can show lone pairs on oxygen and there are different other options so you can use any of them just click on that and then click where you want to put the charge like here anywhere and this is a wavy bond we can draw a wavy bond in chembio draw these are different chiral centers you can I mean this is not a chiral center so it's showing it's uh, an error but you can put that star over chiral centers like this one and then you can of course draw tables in chem draw but i would not encourage that i mean you can draw pretty tables in microsoft word so i don't think it's a good idea to draw tables in chem draw unless you really need to and then chromatography tools you can draw TLCs wow and then you can draw a chain carbon chain of any n atoms you can say 10 and add it will draw a carbon chain of 10 atoms and we'll discuss these templates later on and before that we can draw many other things like cyclopropan ring of course it's not attached to that carbon but it can be attached here and then you can draw butane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane cycloheptane cyclooctane <laughs> what a beautiful drawing in chair cyclohexane you can draw both kinds of chairs this one and this one so I'll keep it at, at a distance it doesn't like it too close that's cyclopentadiene and benzene so you can draw pretty much anything with chem draw and then you can edit it as the way you want for example you want to put um, nitrogen over here so you take select text click here and write NH so now we have put nitrogen if we don't want H we can just draw a single bond to the nitrogen and it will remove hydrogen automatically because it knows nitrogen has three valency so that's how we can draw a lot of things in chem draw and in the next tutorials we'll explore more how can we change the font sizes and different other options and how can we draw uh, with templates page settings and many more options so this was just a general introduction uh, of chem draw to those who are very new to computer or chem draw they can find it useful and i'll see you guys in the next lectures bye bye